I confessed, I am, I am a science geek. I'm a nerd. Uh, and I don't, I don't make any apologies for it. It's cool stuff. You know, over the last eight years, one of my highest priorities as president has been to unleash the full force of American innovation to some of the biggest challenges that we face. We'll restore science to its rightful place and wield technology's wonders to raise healthcare's quality and lower its cost. All this we can do. All this we will do. And today, with the 21st Century Cures Act, we are bringing to reality the possibility of new breakthroughs to some of the greatest health challenges of our time. More Americans now die every year from drug overdoses than they do from motor vehicle crashes. We've all got a role to play. These are our kids. It's not somebody else's kids. It's our kids. It's not somebody else's neighborhood. It's our neighborhood. And they deserve every chance. Now last year, Vice President Biden said that with a new moonshot, America can cure cancer. So tonight I'm announcing a new national effort to get it done. And because he's gone to the mat for all of us on so many issues over the past 40 years, I'm putting Joe in charge of mission control. For the loved ones we've all lost, for the families that we can still save, let's make America the country that cures cancer once and for all. What do you say, Joe? Make it Our Precision Medicine Initiative has been designed to get all these various building blocks brought together so that uh, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Uh, we may be able to accelerate the process of uh, discovering cures in, in ways that we've never seen before. Hello, everybody. Yeah. How cool is this? It's amazing. You don't always, yeah. you don't always have a capsule around. About half an hour ago, I had the chance to meet an extraordinary young man named Nathan Copeland. He was in a car accident that left him paralyzed. But one day he was contacted by a research team at Pitt and they asked if he wanted to be involved in an experimental trial supported by DARPA. Since he was a scientist himself, Nathan readily agreed. So they implanted four microelectrode arrays into his brain, each about the size of half a button. And those implants connect neurons in his brain with a robotic arm so that today he can move that arm the same way you and I do, just by thinking about it. Nathan is also the first person in human history who can feel with his prosthetic fingers. So we shook hands. He had a strong grip, but he had kind of toned it down. Um, and then we gave each other a fist bump. You want to blow it up or <laughs> <laughs> that is unbelievable. And that's why I've been so committed to science and innovation. Not just so that we can restore someone's sense of touch, but so we can revitalize communities, revitalize economies, reignite our shared sense of possibility and optimism. It's a good day to see uh, us doing our jobs. So, with that, I think it's time for me to sign this bill into law.